everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are playing with Natasha Denona products. You know, what this reminds me of, and some of you are probably not old enough to know these, but like when I was in, I think it was like sixth grade, I don't even remember, but there were pens that we had that did this. I used to play with them all the time. Of course, it was slightly distracting, but anyway, distracting now. So this is the love cheek duo that we're gonna play with today. I also have the mini love palette, which we will open. I have the I Need a Nude lipstick in Amarosa. I think it's Amarosa. Haven't opened it yet. And I also picked up the pencil um, that came with it that they said is a good match for it in Ilona or Ilona um, because I thought why not? I don't actually have any Natasha Denona uh, lip liners. I do have a Natasha Denona lipstick in Jennifer, of course, uh, but I didn't have a lip liner. So I was like, well, I might as well pick one up. Um, this was an opportunity. So, uh, you know, I think some of you are gonna be like, why did you pick up pink when you're not a pink person? Um, legitimate, legitimate question. I do have the love palette, like the big, you know, the, the eyeshadow palette. Um, and it's not my favorite. It's a very pretty palette. It's just not really my color story. Um, but, you know, I, I am finding that I am becoming more comfortable with certain pink or pink purple types of shades. And this one actually, I thought might work for me. Also, I've had some sneak peeks on what Natasha Denona is coming up with soon. And none of them really appeal to me. So I thought if I was gonna get a Natasha Denona, who I love, I absolutely love the formulas, um, get this one. So I think that explains it. So um, let me bring you in a little bit closer and we'll start opening the stuff up and see how it works. Good distance, you guys can see me, but uh, not too close to you. So you're like, wow, it's too much of Jennifer's face. Um, so I don't have anything on my face except some foundation and eyebrows are on. Foundation is the Chantecaille Cushion Foundation. If you guys are interested in that, it's now available and I will link it above. I will also have it in the description box. It is an unusual foundation. <laughs> what I would say about it is that I have it in Aura. You can probably tell that my face looks like lighter than it normally does because the Aura is a little bit too light in the Cushion Foundation. I don't have the next shade up, which is Alabaster, but I have been told that in the Cushion Foundation, it's more yellow. So I don't know if it would work. Um, I'm thinking about picking it up anyway to try to find out, but I'm not sure because it is an expensive foundation. Now in the Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation, the gel foundation, I do have that in Aura and Alabaster and they work. They both work great for me. Um, I tend to use the Aura in the winter, Alabaster in the summer because I do get a little bit of, um, of a tan, sorta, not really. But sometimes I even mix the two to get like the perfect shade. So I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do that with a cushion or not, but I wanted you guys to know, the, the, the foundation is like, when I say it's like unique, it goes on like it's not there, like it's the weirdest thing. It looks like you don't really have coverage at first, like you're putting it on, you're like, oh, I'm not getting anything on my, on my cushion. But then it, you put it down and it, it smooths everything out and makes your skin look really nice and gets rid of all my redness and, and doesn't feel at all sticky. Like, but still hydrating. So, yeah, <laughs> I really like it. I can't tell you how it works, cause I don't know, but, but I like it. So um, that's my really in-depth review. If you want a really good in-depth review, I'll link it above. So before we get into Natasha Denona, I wanna mention really quickly that I did get the Tom Ford pink body heat. Um, and I'll actually probably put a picture up on Instagram. But for those of you who were wondering, um, you know, I had talked about the fact that I don't have body heat. It's like one of the few Tom Ford quads I don't have that I actually wanted. Um, and it came out in the limited edition pink uh, and also came out in the limited edition red. And I picked up the pink one because I was like, why not? I don't have it. I've wanted to get it for a while. So I do have it now. All right, so let's talk about the Love Cheek Duo. Uh, let's see if I could see anything, but I can't. 
I got lights in my face. All right. I don't think I can see it any better because the lights are all like blinding. Um, so this is an 18 month shelf life. Yeah, and then it's a cream blush and highlighter. We've got the cheek blush and the Glow Impact Powder. Okay, sure. Um, whatever that means. Yeah, it's like, it's so reflective, guys, and there's so many lights that I, <laughs> I cannot see the back of the packaging. And it's like in red. It's just, uh, I'm like, okay, maybe I can see it better on the packaging itself. Let's see. And maybe I'm going blind. No, it's the light. It's because of this, um, like, reflective nature. Okay, so the cream blush is in shade pink coral. Well, that's what it says. It says pink coral. Okay. Doesn't look very coral to me. Uh, pink coral and then the Glow Impact Powder is in pink and golden champagne duochrome. Interesting. Okay, probably getting a reflection off the glasses, but I do love these frames, I gotta say. I, I really do. These are Tom Ford frames and I put uh, readers in them. Love them. Okay, so let's play around with this first. I don't have bronzer on. Uh, I'm gonna put bronzer on later. So let's pull my hair back so I can get that out of the way. Struggling to keep my hair in. Um, I think we'll do the cream blush first. Why not? Let's try it. So this is what it looks like. If you've already watched my um, Chanel video, then you know what it kind of looks like because I swatched it on my hand, but I have not swatched it. I have not put it on my face. So let me put it on my arm for you. It's the pink coral. And here's the duochrome powder. That's gonna be interesting on the face. I'm trying to see if I can get a shift. Yeah, yeah, I guess, it, yeah, you can, you can. It's not drastic, but. So let's put the blush on first. I'm gonna use my um, BK Beauty sponge here and I feel like that's probably the best way to do this to start, um, yeah, I think that's the best way. Because I think this is gonna be pretty pink. And that, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I think it might be like very pink. So I wanna go in lightly. Okay, yeah, I think if I go in lightly, like when I, I, it's not that I don't like a pink shade. I like pink, but this one, it's a little bright for me, but I do like that. That's nice. Okay. Let's try it on the other side. I mean, this says pink coral, but I don't see that. This looks like pink pink to me, but what do I know? Okay, guys, what do you think? Okay, I don't love it. I think it's okay. I think it looks fine. Maybe I'd like it more if I put it on with my finger. Like maybe it would melt more. I don't know. Well, you definitely get more of the shade if you put it on with your finger, but this is gonna sound weird, but it's like too powdery almost. Like I know it's a cream, but when it goes on, it kind of feels, I don't know, like a little dry. It's a little, it's like drier than other creams that I'm used to. It's not bad, but it's not like the Chanel, which I absolutely loved. Okay, let's go in with the highlighter. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the Chanel highlighter. This is the Koyoto. This is the Red Ox um, brush that I've been, I've been using lately. I really like this brush. Okay, that highlighter is very highlighty. <laughs> Not that that's a word. Just kind of like 
blending it out a little. I don't know, maybe I would like it more if I'd gone with the highlighter first and then the cream. It definitely has like a shift. He's got like a gold, you can kind of see like gold and then pink. Okay, let me buff it in a little bit. I think that's what I'm gonna need to do with this one. I have nothing on this brush, I'm just not pretty this one's a little like sparkly and a little pink for me I think this one definitely accentuates texture more than the Chanel like there's like little bits not bits but it, it like it's more shimmery so I think maybe because it's that like that duochrome so you kind of get refraction so you notice more imperfections so, let's go ahead and play with the mini love palette first let's bring out the love palette from last Valentine's Day. And let me show you the color story in this. It's a really, it's a really pretty color story. It's not like I, I don't like it, um, but I just don't reach for it that often. It's not like I don't, you know, I don't think it's good. I just, I like the glam and the, and the bronze more. Uh, so let me show you the, mini you can see that it's a very similar color story and i'll hold it up next to the the full love palette in a second so the shades in here um, i'm sure you've heard are you are my true love so very cute nicely done i think you could definitely add this to this palette it would fit right in Okay, let me swatch these. So these were available for a short time from Natasha Denona on her website, and then they're going to be available on Sephora on the 28th. They feel very creamy. They feel very Natasha Denona. Okay, there's the color story. Let's go in with the Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. And let's use that, um, and hopefully these are showing up, but this like matte rose shade on the eye. So let me know guys, if you're, if you're thinking of picking this up or if you're frankly like pinked out <laughs> You just don't want any more pink between, you know, Natasha Denona and Chanel and Pat McGrath. Lots of pink. I mean, I get it. This time of year. Makes sense. Dior. Lots of pink. If you've been watching my channel um, in the beginning, uh, which wasn't that long ago. We haven't even hit a year yet, guys. And by the way, I do have some surprises and like uh, giveaways and stuff coming up for the for the one year in March. I can't believe it's almost one year, but I was pretty dead set against using pink. <laughs> uh, but you know, many of you and many of my friends have said how much they like the pink shades on me, which I just find just kind of funny uh so i've tried to incorporate more of them into my looks and you know i the more i've used them the more i have liked them so as usual you were you were all right <laughs> uh, all right let's go in with a smaller it's always so difficult to choose a brush because i have like 10 million brush 10 million brushes now i'm like which brush should i Let's go in with a uh, Chikahoto. This is a Z series, Z11, I think. I never remember these things. Um, and that deep purple matte shade. 
I just want to deepen up that uh, crease a little and the outer V. I'm not going to make it super dramatic, but yeah, I mean, this would be a very good, like if you're going for a Valentine's Day look, this is definitely a great palette to do that with. You know, like a traditional Valentine's Day look, you know what I mean? Pinks and the purples and all that good stuff. I mean, Valentine's Day, to be honest, I, I, I've I never been a big fan of Valentine's Day. I just feel like it makes, you know, people feel bad who don't have someone. And then the people that do, it sets up an expectation, I don't know, that it's like, well, if you, this one time a year, <laughs> do something nice, you don't have to do anything the rest of, I don't know. I just like, I don't. Not really my thing. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Goss 03. I kind of, I'm more of the kind of person who likes to get, like if somebody wants to get me, you know, a gift, or they don't, no one has to get me a gift, but if somebody wants to get me a gift or something, uh, I prefer it to be like, for no reason, <laughs> just because, like, so it's really a surprise. Um, you know, when, it, when I feel like it's been put upon someone for like Valentine's Day or something, I'm just like, I just feel bad, so it's, I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to feel like it's an expectation. Uh, I'm gonna take this uh, bright pink and kind of put it on like this part of my eye. Um, yeah, so again, nothing against it. I just, you know, I, I just, I feel like it can make some people feel really bad. Um, I just, I, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like they're, uh, not special. I mean, that's just a horrible feeling. So, I don't like holidays that exclude people. I don't know. Just, I don't think that's a, no, don't like it. Um, and I'll just take a little bit and like put it on the outside as well to like blend it into that purple. Really pretty shade, that pink, that bright pink, which sounds odd coming out of my mouth, but it is. It's really nice. Um, yeah, it's, I really like that. It's a pretty shade. Okay, so I'll blend that in a little. I think that might be my favorite. It's really pretty. Um, and then I'm gonna take the, um, the, like, creamy, I don't know what, it's like a peach, almost, and put it in the inner corner here. Well, wow, that's bright, very pretty. And then I'll take the like shimmer shade, put it on my finger, kind of place it in the middle of my eyelid there. got a nice shift to it. Um, so the one that I just put on my center lid, um, which is called You, is a duochrome. You can kind of see how it shifts. And then the two in the middle, the darker shades that I put on first were creamy mattes. And then the true was a metallic. That's the one that's on the inner corner. That's a metallic. And then Love, which is that bright pink, um, is also a metallic. I have to say, I think the metallics are my favorite, although Duochrome is very pretty. Okay, let me take the, um, uh, talking to myself, let me take the uh, Wayne Goss, I'll use the 05 brush, and I'm going to take um, some of the my which is that deep purple matte and i'm going to run it under and then i'm going to use that pink metallic as well kind of tie the two together these are very pigmented if you haven't been able to tell that already they uh yeah they pack a punch so you want to be you want to build I mean, I guess you could just put it all on at once. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to build. Uh, but, you know, 
If you're trying to figure out how much color pigment you want, I would suggest building. All right, so let's take a look without, I'm gonna put a little bit of liner on the upper lash, but I want you to see. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty color story. I think like what I would do if I wasn't trying to use all the shades, I might just take like this deep and like this bright pink. Can't really see it with the cover on. This matte with like this metallic or like this one with this. I mean, I just think like you could do some really pretty things. The duochrome is beautiful with that gold pink shift. I mean, that's gorgeous too. Uh, okay, so let me take, this is the Ashantikai Amethyst Liner. I'm just gonna line the upper lash line. Okay, so let me um, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and then we'll get into the lip. Okay, we're back. Eye look is done. I have to say, guys, I, I think this this is really beautiful. It's not necessarily like the color story that I'm used to because I don't like go into too many pinks. But I have to say like this shade, the one that's love, this metallic is really like stunning. I mean, it has like the the it's a it's a, an extremely strong it's an extremely strong pink, but it's just a beautiful shade. And the duochrome is gorgeous and the i mean just it's really nice um and if you like pinks and purples this is gonna be like <laughs> i mean it's gonna be perfect um but i do like it i really do um the highlighter and the blush i still feel like it's like a little too much for me but again i put it on like a little heavier so you guys could see it on camera to see what it looks like um so maybe you know i'll play around with it obviously and try to come up with something that's a little bit more my style. Um, so let's go in with the, the lip liner in Ilona. Feels good. Looks like a good shade for me, kind of shade I would like. Oh, that went on really well. It's basically my lips, but better kind of shade. I would buy more of these. This is nice. I would buy something that has like, like a deeper tone to it. This is very much like my lip shade, which is not a bad thing to own. It's just interesting. Like, I think I would get a couple shades darker, maybe something a little bit more brown. This is, this is good though. I like it. Okay. Um, and then the lipstick, as I mentioned, is the one in the love collection. Um, is Amorosa. Looks like that. Show it to you in my hand. Very similar to the lip liner. Okay, guys, I think that's a really good true nude for my lip. So this shade, if you see it on me, I am very, very pale. So if you are more, um, like if you're more of a medium skin tone, I think this is going to wash you out a little bit because I think this is gonna be the color of your skin tone um, or very close because I'm so pale, like this actually looks, I think looks good. It looks like a nude, but I think if you have, I don't know, more like medium skin tone, I think this is gonna blend. I could be wrong. I mean, it's hard for me to tell because I'm so pale at this point. I think somebody with like a deeper skin tone this will look, you know, like light and it'll kind of be a contrast. On me, it's still a contrast because I am so pale, but on like a medium skin tone, I think this could have the effect of washing you out. I mean, I don't know that. We'd have to we'd have to see, but that would be the only thing I'd be concerned with. I actually love it. I think it's a great nude for me, like pretty much perfect. Um, 
if I'm looking for a lip color that won't contrast with anything, especially like today I have, you know, for me anyway, a very glowy face, like almost sparkly face uh, because of the highlighter and the, the blush. And then with this eye look, I really like a very neutral lip with it. Not everybody's gonna like that. But yeah, I do. I think this works really well. Interesting. Yeah, see now this makes me wanna buy more Natasha and Denona lipsticks which I'm trying not to do because I'm not wearing any lipsticks. But yeah, I do like the formula. It's very creamy. So yeah, I really like this. I, like I said, I like the Natasha Denona formula. The only other one I have is Jennifer, and I actually had planned to um, buy some more this year but then everything happened and I was like, well, I'm not wearing lipstick anyway, so you know, why buy some? But I do like the formula and I like the shades. So this is Jennifer and this is Amorosa. You can see Jennifer's deeper, has a little bit more pink to it. But those are the only two that I own. I, I do really like them. And I actually like the uh, cases because they're, uh, magnetic. The uh, other one I have is in white, obviously, because um, it's not part of the love co collection. Um, but anyway, so overall, guys, I, I love the eyeshadow mini, which is not a shock. I pretty much love all the Natasha Denona eyeshadows I've ever used. The lip liner, I really, really like. I, I, I really want to buy more of the lip liners because this one worked really well. And lipsticks because I really like the formula. I just know that now is not the time to do that. Like I just have to stop myself because I'm not wearing lip products and I don't need them. <laughs> but if you're one of those people who really wants lip products right now, I would strongly recommend the Natasha Denona lip liner and the, the I Need a Nudes um, lipsticks. I think they're really good. The formulas are excellent. The blush highlighter, I think I just have to get, like figure out how they work best for me. Maybe put down the highlighter first then the cream blush on top. Let's try that. Maybe I just need to go lighter with the highlighter. Maybe I just need to do the blush like higher up. I feel like it's just a little too pink. I don't know. I didn't use a bronzer today, so maybe that's it. Maybe it just looks too stark against the very pale skin because I used the Aura from the Chantecaille and so maybe it just stands out too much. I wonder if that's it. You know what? Let me just put on a little bit of bronzer really quick. Let's see what happens. I'm using the um, Chanel Sunset. I've been using this one a little bit lately because um, I've been playing around with some of my older Chanel's. In fact, you'll see a video with a Chanel quad that I have had for a very long time that I've never even shown you guys on the channel. And uh, that'll be coming up soon. But I've been trying to like go through and like play with old Chanel, play with old Tom Ford, you know, that kind of thing to show you guys. And so this particular powder has been out on my desk um, to use for those other videos. Yeah, see, I think that looks better. You guys have to let me know what you think. Um, fix the hair for a second. But I think with some bronzer on, the blush and the highlight, doesn't look as drastic. What do you think? Like this way, I think it actually looks nice. Before to me, it just looked like too much because I looked too pale with it. You know, like it looked like very pale skin and pink <laughs> cheeks. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It could be totally in my head, but I like it much more with bronzer. You let me know, let me know in the comments. So that's it for today, guys. I have uh, more stuff on the way. Um, I have bought a few new things, but as I mentioned, I'll be playing with a lot of my um, collection that I already have. So you'll see those coming up as well. If there are specific things you're looking to see or um, uh, parts of my collection you'd like me to pull out, you know, just go ahead and put them in the comments below. If I don't have them, I'll let you know, but I have a lot, so there's a good chance it's in there somewhere. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you again in a video really soon.